Good evening. Welcome to the Wilhelms Consulting Office. WHC provides the Baltimore Economic Leadership League these, this meeting space at no cost. My name is Will Holmes, and I am founder of the Baltimore Economic Leadership League, also known as Bell. Bell was founded in December of 2021. Bell hosts training and networking events to raise money for our small business microloan fund. Before today, WHC and our members, our Bell members, they've been the largest financial backers of Bell. Today marks the first time a lending institution has provided funding to support our mission. Please join me in a round of applause for Truist for being for believing in Bell and stepping up to support small businesses in America. <laughs> so how will we use this money? All right. Well, when I started Bell, I used my personal money and my profits from WHC to hire some incredible individuals to help me to build Bell. One of those individuals was Mr. Renard Brown, our executive director. Mr. Brown, do you mind coming up and saying a few words? Actually. Thank you, Mr. Holmes, and good evening to everybody. I just want to say a few words here about Bell and really about Will Holmes and WHC. So part of the objective that I've seen when I've talked to Mr. Holmes many, many moons ago, I think we were talking in the Starbucks at that time, and trying to put the vision together was really about how do we help small businesses in Maryland. Mr. Holmes, as anybody who knows him knows, has worked very extensively on different business incubator programs, networking, connecting people with funding, and he really wanted to go the extra mile. How did he make that connection? There are a lot of big banks, a lot of larger entities that he knows, but how did he make that connection for, uh, to cover the gap for a lot of small business owners who just were getting started? Maybe they're in the seed phase or maybe they're in the startup phase. What he was able to do is put together this vision that you see on the sign behind me, which is the Baltimore Economic Leadership League. And really that covers as a CDFI that gap so that we can help some of those folks out who are just getting started, just coming out of the gate. Maybe they're not ready for a big bang. Maybe they're not ready for a truest yet, but there is a place in the ecosystem to help those folks out. And I'd like for you all to join me in a round of applause for Mr. Holmes in putting that together. <laughs> With that, I'll leave it to Mr. Holmes to conclude the rest of the ceremony. Mr. Holmes. Thank you, Mr. Brown. So I also, want to, uh, she's not here tonight. I want to thank uh, Kim, Kimberly Anthony. Kimberly Anthony was the very first person I hired over 12 years ago. And uh, with Kimberly Anthony and Mr. Brown helping me to run WHC, uh, we were able to, you know, I was able to get them to help me, of course, to start Bell and really to create the, the FinTech, the financial technology to make this thing work. So <clears throat> I also want to thank, I recognize our board members, uh, Ms. Michelle Howard, Ms. Lynn Jenkins, and Mr. Jim Peterson, who's here. Mr. Peterson, you mind raising your hands so people know who you are? Thank you for all your support. <laughs> so since implementing the processes and technology we designed, it now costs just a few hundred dollars per month to manage Bell. Our payment technology, automation, and library of training topics keep costs low and allow us to efficiently provide technical assistance to our borrowers. All of Bell's administrative costs are covered by member dues, event ticket sales, and sponsorships. Bell is completely self-sufficient. So that means that 100% of the funds from Truist will be used for microloans for small businesses. These funds, along with our technical assistance, will help at least 10 small businesses start, grow, and begin to hire people in their communities. We expect a tremendous economic impact across the state. Briefly, I'd like to tell you what to expect from Bell in 2024. Besides providing funding for small businesses, we will work with WHC and other partners to provide monthly training and networking events here and across the state. So we're looking for more partners, more sponsors and donors to help us. Look out for our regional conferences that are already set. We have our Money Maryland conference. We had one this year with Anne Arundel County. Next year, we're tripling that. We have with Anne Arundel County in the fall. Uh, in May, we're, it's going to be with Charles County. And our, and our third regional conference will be with Talbot County in June. We plan to do these across the state going forward uh, through Bell and WHC. Also, we have events planned with, uh, between Bell and other organizations such as the Maryland Small Business Development Center, the U.S. Small Business Administration, National Disability Institute, Johns Hopkins Carey Business School, and the College of Southern Maryland. Our goal is to strengthen the Maryland economy by supporting small businesses across the state. We 
We also have a new program. Our new IWIL program, also known as I Will, will connect and support women business owners and leaders and entrepreneurs to resources, information, mentors, and to each other. I Will stands for Initiative for Women's Innovation and Leadership. The first interest meeting is on December 5th, right here. I invite all of you to come. We're looking for speakers, sponsors, and event committee members to help us better support women business leaders and entrepreneurs in Maryland. I'll send out information via email so you can learn more. One last thing, I invite you to join Bell. As I mentioned before, we cover administrative costs with membership dues, ticket sales, and sponsorships. So your membership directly supports small businesses and job creation in Maryland. Then this is based on statistics because we have our programs with counties in the state of Maryland. Uh, an example is our, our program with Anne Arundel County. Per the stats from Anne Arundel County, each of our entrepreneurship curriculum uh, cohorts create an average of 35 new jobs per cohort and an average of 1.5 million in additional revenue per cohort, and each cohort is about 15 businesses. To date, we have over 450 graduates through our program. So you can do the math on the kind of economic impact that's already happening without any major financial investment by any, in any institutions just from the work with WHC and Bell members. So imagine what we could do with this money. So I want to thank you all for being here with me tonight. I definitely want to thank Truist and their continuous support. And I'd like to ask Ms. Natasha Horton from Truist to say a few words. Natasha, please give me a round of applause and welcome to Natasha. Awesome. Thank you, Dr. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. So thank you guys for having Truist here today. Sorry, I am trying to see out of my new glasses. <laughs> so I am deeply, I would say Truist is deeply aware of the challenges that are faced by individuals striving to establish and grow their small businesses. And we know in our society, access to financial resources often become a barrier, uh, particularly for those from minority backgrounds, right? And so this grant that we are providing to Bell is going to be a crucial step towards addressing some of the disparities that we see today. It's not just about financial assistance, it's about providing a platform to foster innovation, create jobs, and uplift the community as a whole. Uh, the microloans this grant will offer are not just mere funds, they're really building blocks. And at Truist, our purpose is to inspire and build better lives in the community, and this is one of the ways we do that. And so we are so proud to partner with Will today and provide him with a $50,000 grant to support microloans for those small businesses. So we'll So here you go, my friend. All right. All right. For our work, hard work, dedication, and we appreciate everything. I gotta do a thumbs up for something on that. That's pretty <laughs> great. <laughs> other things that when I first met with Will, you know, he didn't want to ask people for money. He was like, oh yeah, he didn't want to do it. He didn't want to do it. And I'm like, what? Like you, you he can't use all your money to do this. Wasn't that one of our first conversations? It was, it was hard for me. Was and hard. we went to his event last year and I promised him 30,000. And so we turned it up a little notch and gave him 50 for this year. So very proud to be partnering with you. I look forward to the amazing work that you're doing. And of course, we will be here to support you and join some of those panels that you host. I know you invite us, but we'll be there. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Well, that actually concludes the ceremony. So this is, so yeah, have some food, have some drinks. If, if you like some of the harder stuff, i got a special cabinet for that. Uh, but if not, you know, just make yourselves at home. Uh, we have, it's actually, it's a beautiful night. We have a deck outside, so please enjoy. Uh, but if I can be of any service to you whatsoever, please let me know. And of course, and y'all, okay, I'm going to ask you. I'm going to ask you to join Bell. Like, membership is only like $99, right? I mean, but it goes a long way. That $99 actually covers like two months of, of expenses for Bell. Like we've got it to a place where the, the efficiency of the technology, it just runs itself pretty much. So, and then the money that we get 
It's recycled. That 50, that, these are loans. These aren't grants. So that money will come back. And we haven't had anybody, we haven't had one late payment yet. We don't want that. No late payments, <laughs> no defaults, right? right? So, and, and you know, because we support everyone who gets a loan, we talk to them. I talk to them personally. If they have a problem, they text me, whatever it is. So we ensure that we get the money back. And the process we use to, you know, we have a great loan committee. We use exactly the same uh, process that banks use. We just make the the requirements you know, a little less, a little, you know, a little easier. Yeah. Uh, so I ask you to please join Bell. You can go to joinbell.org. We we have other you know we have other sponsorship levels if you feel like spending a little bit more money, right? But I promise you, all the money really goes to them, uh, to the to the programs and to the events. And I also encourage you to come out to our events too. Many of them will be here because I can do them very very inexpensively here. But as we grow and have bigger events, of course, we'll be at other venues. So once again, thanks for coming tonight. And I hope to uh, see you as members of Bell. If I can be of any service to you at all, please let me know. All right. Have a good night.